Hey Pilots, Bounty here from Bounty Gaming and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Basically what we're going to be doing is editing some files for Titanfall 2 so that when we eject from Titans it will have a customized message. This message can be funny, it can be your name, it could be basically whatever you guys want. Now for this type of modding it's not something I recommend but I thought it may be something of interest to pilots out there or other people out there who just want to see it going, see what sort of things you can customize within Titanfall 2. I've seen people who have customized their messages that pop up, for example, instead of Amp Weapons Ready, they might call it Turbo Boost. And so on their actual game, it will say Turbo Boost Ready instead of Amp Weapons. And some people have labeled other things like Scorch's Ultimate or Scorch's Core Ability, instead of saying you know, the core is ready, core's online, they'll call it something like smelly gas or or horde of fleas, you know, something quite humorous so that when they're playing the game, they can have a little laugh and giggle and things like that. Anyway, pilots, we better get stuck into this. I'll put the link to this website in the description below, but basically you download this VPK tool and this is just going to allow you pilots to recompile the file. I won't be using the right terms because obviously this isn't this isn't my usual content guys, but it's definitely going to allow you pilots out there to, we'll just make a new folder, I'll just call it pilots, it's kind of off the screen, there we go, pilots, and extract this into here. Basically it's going to allow you to make some changes to the files, which is really what we need to do. So next you want to open up, well first we better back up our files, so I'll just head to the location where Titanfall 2 is installed, here it is here. You want to go into the VPK folder. Now, the files you want to be looking for uh, are called English Client, Front End, BSP, blah, blah, blah. And then there's also a client file that you need. Um, basically, you just look for client underscore front end and then English Client underscore front end. So the first one here has all zeros. So we're going to copy and paste that to a new folder. So we'll just call this, I guess you'll just call it backup can be anything really. So I'll paste that into there. Awesome. And then we're going to head back to, we've got so many things open already guys. This is crazy. So we're going to head back to our install directory. Funny how it's called Battlefield 1. Um, not really a game I played, but that's all Titanfall 2's fault because Titanfall 2 is way better. So we're also going to back this up. So just copy and pasting. Now what you want to do, because you've got the backup there, everything's all good. We're going to open these files using the VPK tool, so double click on there. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to do now is open the file. So you want to head to the installation directory for Titanfall 2, go into the VPK folder, and you want to open the English one, so client underscore English or English client, there it is. So English client underscore front end, then you want to go extract all, choose a folder where you want to extract that. Oh, my computer is an absolute mess. So we'll extract it to a folder named A that's sitting on my desktop. Rock through here, watching the extraction. Hopefully there's no errors or nonsense like that. Sitting at 100%. Couple of files breaking up, you can see it there. Now, we'll just be patient. Let it do its thing. Some files could not be extracted. Okay, we'll chill. We'll see what's going on. So we'll head to desktop. Head into A. And then we want to go into resource. Now what you'll see in the resource folder are these R1 files. So you want to locate R1 English if that's your language, French, Japanese, depends on your language. For me, I speak English, so we're going to rock in here. Open up the file, and this here is basically the file you can edit. You can only edit the things on the right hand side because on the right hand side here, this is actually the string field you can edit as far as I understand it. Whereas these here are actually calling some type of, setting some type of variable or calling some sort of method. I don't really do coding, but these cannot be changed. So on the right hand side is everything you can change. So for example, guys, if we want to change our pilot eject, I think it's something like this. Nope. Uh, we will search for, uh, I think it's cockpit underscore eject. I haven't scrolled down on my guide, so I'm not, not too sure. Here they are. 
so you can see here all of the ejection ones so you can see it was fun it ain't over till it's over second uh, second star to the right make it so some of these are actually pretty cool some of these are cool but what you guys need to do if you want to edit these is actually just type your text in here so you can make this one say bounty gaming and then what we'll do just for the sake of showing you guys how it works is I'll go ahead and make all of these bounty gaming and I won't let you guys um, sit there and watch me do this like 34 times and we'll skip to a gameplay where you can actually see myself ejecting from a titan and you'll be able to see the self-destruct message is bounty gaming now this is randomized so if you do have a lot of other options here you won't see you know you'll see a mixture you won't see the one that you prefer straight away but if you're doing what i'm going to do here every single time i'm going to see bounty gaming which is awesome i can also do it in these ones here these are the more common commonly used ejections now what you can do just while we're in the file quickly here pilots you can actually search for other things so if we go amped weapons uh not there not there you can actually search through oh oh man we just found it okay let's change that to up there we go see how it says amp weapons ready so this is going to come up on your screen and say hey Holo Nova's ready, ticks are ready. So you can actually change ticks here to uh, real. Uh, I'm not too sure, like, I'm not too creative at the moment, but red, annoying, explosives, ready. Something like that. And when you save the file and repack it into the VPK, all of these things are going to show up. So, anyway, guys, I'll carry on and get all my bounty gaming ones done, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Alrighty pilot, so all of my cockpit ejects now say bounty gaming. So what you want to do is save the R1 English file. Don't need to go save as, just go save. And then what we're gonna do, just gonna scroll down here and make sure we're still on track, is repack this into the actual file and then copy and paste it over to the installation directory for Titanfall. And that way, Titanfall, when we launch the game, it's actually gonna look at this file. And when you go to eject, it's going to go, well, okay, I've got to use these names. So that's pretty awesome. So what we're going to be doing is going tools and repack it. And then you want to search for the file that we need to repack. So what we're going to be doing is selecting uh, two files. So we are going to, is it pilots we used or A? I can't remember. Or backup. It is, oh, A resource. Okay, so it's going to be A. Head into there. And we want to select the whole folder, which is cool. I'll just double check there's nothing silly in here, just before we go ahead. A, uh, okay. We don't really need these in here, so let's just uh, get rid of those. Cool, and extraction logs, we don't want that either. Awesome, so we're pretty much ready to go. So we're going to select A. I'll just cancel and go back into it. You know, sometimes these things can be a bit temperamental output directory we'll just slap it on the desktop because i'm already getting real confused about where my files are actually going what i've got to copy back this is crazy so anyway build the vpk Alrighty. so it's going to do its thing here guys repacking already at 100 percent so actually that was quite painless Cool, and we have pack with lots of O's, and then pack with only three O's. So what we've got to do is rename these. You'll see what you need to rename it with on the actual website that I'll have in the description below. This is more of a visual guide, so you guys can, you know, if you really want to do this, you can actually go through and just copy what you see on my screen here. So do you want to rename? Oh, there's already, uh, already file with the name. Okay, so let's just get rid of these so we don't have this annoying thing happen um that was just me going through the f the first time because i gotta make sure these things work for you pilots i can't just uh you know go through give you guys a link without actually trying it myself awesome oh that one had two dots so we got to get rid of that extra dot there and that's a single dot wicked so now what we've got to do is move these two files that we've renamed back to our Titanfall 2 directory. 
uh, that's my recording drive, whoops, so Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, so confusing, yes I know, and replace these files. Uh, it's open in, a, in another program, so close that program down, try again. Awesome, so we're going to copy these files over, and then head into Titanfall 2. Awesome, I'll just be back in a second guys. Alrighty pilots, we are back. Now, what we're going to be doing is a private match. So first of all, we want the mode to be Last Titan Standing. That way we're going to get our Titan. Doesn't really matter what Titan we use. I'm pretty sure I've been using North Star. And we're going to start the match. So just while we go through the countdown, guys, this video here is more to show the people who are keen and making little changes to things that show up on their screen and weapons, ejection messages, you know, little bits and pieces like that. And it's more of getting used to a bit of code, repacking it, seeing the changes within the game. It's definitely not something that I encourage you go out and do. I'm not 100% sure if you can actually get banned using this because from my understanding these are client side files, not server side. But I definitely won't be taking any responsibility if that does happen to you guys. So when I test this and when I play around, that's the exact reason I'm using private beta, um, the private match, and not doing this online with other people. Alrighty, so we're just going to eject now, pilots. See the message here. Bounty gaming. Wicked. So we're just going to go through that one more time. You can see it here in the kill cam. And there's our message, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different. We won't be doing these types of videos all the time and things like that but i thought it'd be something different for you pilots out there thanks again for all your support tuning in we'll be covering everything to do with the new update you know how we roll here at bounty gaming and have an awesome night